Hello, I am Flash Izzy, and you are welcome to Flash Nana's post TMA physics series, episode 2. If you've not checked out episode 1, feel free to take a look at that. Episode 2 will cover this question, which says a body starts from rest and moves with an acceleration of 8 meters per second for 10 seconds. Find the distance during the 8 seconds. Look at something. Look at something. You look at something. It says a body starts from rest, moves with an acceleration of 8 meters per second for 10 seconds. Find the distance during the 8 seconds. Post TME is different from primary 6 exam. Why jam is different from YA? Now, looking at these questions, a lot of persons will go ahead to find distance in 8 seconds. That is not the question. It says the distance during the 8 seconds. It did not say distance cover after 8 seconds. It means distance in between the 7th and 8th seconds. That is what it means. If I say Find the distance covered in the 10th second or during the 10th seconds. is simply the distance covered in 10 seconds minus distance covered in 9 seconds. If I say find the distance covered during the 9 seconds, 9 seconds is distance covered in 9 seconds minus distance covered in 8 seconds. If I say distance traveled during the 20th seconds is distance in 20 seconds minus distance in 19 seconds. Very, very important. Now look at something else. It says a body starts from rest. Anytime in physics you are told that a body starts from rest, it simply means that initial velocity is equal to zero. Anytime a body starts from rest, it simply means u is equal to zero. And in physics, if you are told that a body comes to rest or goes to rest, so anytime a body goes to rest, Final velocity is equal to zero. So we are starting from rest, initial velocity is zero. When you go to rest, final velocity is zero. Now, from the equations of motion, we have V is equal to U plus AT. We have S is equal to UT plus 1 over 2 AT square. We have V square is equal to U square plus 2 AS. Now, take a look at something. We don't have distance, so we can't use this. We don't have final velocity, and we are not looking for final velocity, so we can't use this. Now, find the distance during the 8 seconds. Then we are use this. S is equal to ut plus 1 over 2 a t squared. Now, we know that u is equal to 0. If u is 0, here becomes 0. u times T is zero, so S is equals half a t squared. This is the equation which I've been making it up. Now, since we are looking for the distance during the eight second, we don't need this time ten seconds. It is useless to us. It is just there as distraction. You will not be thinking, how do I use this time? How do I use eight seconds and two seconds? So it's a distraction. So remember, I told you that distance in eight seconds. 8 seconds is equal to distance in 7 seconds minus distance distance in 8 seconds minus distance in 7 seconds so let's look for s in the 8 seconds s after 8 seconds in 8 seconds it simply means t is equal to 8 this will give you 1 over 2 times acceleration a times t 8 squared this will give you 2 5 6 meters now you just see option a two five six you simply rush and choose it <laughs> it is not correct now in seven seconds s seven distance is equals one over two times a is a times seven squared that will give you one nine six meters so s eight is equals s eight minus s seven to give you two five six minus one nine six this will give you 60 meters. So the distance covered in the 8 seconds is 60 meters. 
That is it. Platinum's Constituency Series, Episode 2. I hope you found this helpful. Feel free to check out Episode 3 using the link in the description. And don't forget to check out my other videos. If you love what you are seeing, why not subscribe? Thank you.